Hey you guys, it's me Vocal Thunder and I'm here to bring you a quick tutorial video on how to use the Mad Cats Tournament Edition fight stick on, on, the, um, on Street Fighter. So how, I'm gonna go quickly go through how to do moves, um, certain basics, how to do like your special, your specials, your normals, your ultras, um, your supers, how to do an FADC combo, and I'm also gonna cover how to use a charge character as well. Um, but after that, I'll, I'll just go through some quick basics, how to do cross-ups, tech, uh, techniques like teching, uh, and we'll go from there. But I'm just doing this to fulfill a request from one of my subscribers. Um, because it seems like a few of you are um, asking me like how do you do the moves and how do you how's the joystick that kind of thing so um, so I have my webcam positioned at an angle where I can kind of get a bit of the screen and also um, of the joystick so you guys can see my inputs but uh, we're gonna go with the very very basics and I'm gonna go with Ryu so that way I can show you guys how to do the moves. So I used to be a pad player. I used to have like just the you know the Super Nintendo pad and I and I learned all my moves that way. And it's only been a year since I've switched over to the joystick. And I'm really glad I did because um, I found that the inputs are actually a lot faster. But uh, I'll explain to you how it works. Basically you have okay your joystick and here are all your normals, your your light, uh, medium, and fierce punches, and light, medium, and hard kicks. I'm going to refer them to their original names actually, because I I used I used to play the original Street Fighter, like Street Fighter 2, and so I'm going to refer to the um, light punches, jab, medium punch as strong, fierce, uh, strong punch as fierce, light kick as short, medium kick as a forward and uh, uh, round fierce kick as roundhouse. So you'll you'll see me throwing in those those um, terms instead of the you know normal light kick uh, punch light punch that kind of terminology. But basically, the res um, on the joystick the buttons are really responsive. So whenever you put in something, you'll see it on the inputs. Um, for how to hold the joystick. I actually um, saw a YouTube video of um, how Daigo holds it, and he actually goes through a tutorial as well. But basically, you want to hold it. There's a lot of way, different ways to hold it. I used to hold it with two fingers on each side of the joystick, sort of like this, and it was okay for a while. But I found that it, on the bottom end, it actually kind of constricts your movement. So what I did was I followed um, Daigo's way of holding it, and it actually underneath it, kind of like a wine glass. So you'd have your pinky finger um, on the um, other side of the joystick while the rest of your fingers are on the left side. So that way you can have more control and you'd actually be using three fingers to move the ball of the joystick versus the two. So that's how I do um, all my movements and it's really comfortable. You just have to practice it a little bit. But you know, simple things like um, doing light punches, and um, all, right, all your shorts, shorts and forwards, they're pretty easy to come out. What I usually do for in terms of specials, now like uh, specials like the Hodoken, uh, what you can do is you roll the stick forward and you push it. So you, you start at a, at a downward position because you go down forward, right? So you hold down with your two fingers and you kind of push it with the palm of your hand in order to finish your movement and you press the punch. So that's how you do the fireball. For the Shoryuken, um, I do the same motion except I add a forward to it. So I would go forward, down, forward. Forward, down, forward. And it's pretty simple to do. Um, Street Fighter 4 really made it easy for you to pull off combos uh, and pull off special moves. You can even just tap down forward twice. I'm pretty sure. Or did they fix that? Yeah, you can still do it. So down forward twice, and you get the uppercut. But um, I, I, since I played it the original way, I, I always do the moves exactly the way they, they're meant to do. So, so I would 
you know, go forward, down, forward in order to do my uppercut. So it's pretty simple. And you notice that when I do my moves, I actually go, have to go pretty fast. Because the input time is actually really short. If you were to go any any um, any slower, you might get a fireball instead, or it might not even come up. So you have to be pretty careful. You can delay the fireball but a little bit. So what happens is when you press 4, you hold it for like a second, and you can watch. Ryu actually takes a small step forward before he actually does the fireball. And you can do that for, for a lot of different moves. It's called um, delaying, I think. But there's, there's some term for it, but I forgot it <laughs> right now. Um, but I'm just going to go right into the, the supers and the ultras because, you know, the hurricane kick is pretty simple. Same principle with um, doing fireballs. What you want to do is you hold down with the two, butt, uh, two fingers and instead of pushing forward with your palm, you pull away with your, your fingers. So, pretty simple. Um, for supers, uh, Daigo actually covered this. It's actually pretty, you have to, the input time is actually pretty fast too. And when you're using the wine glass method of holding the joystick, what you can do is you can do it really fast. So, let me get it up there. So you roll the, you roll the joystick twice and then out comes the fireball. The ultra same principle, except you're using the three punches or three kicks, whichever ultra you're using. What you want to do is uh, make sure you hit all three um, buttons when you do it. Um, there is the buttons on the end that do the three punches and three kicks, but since I don't use them, I've actually disabled them. But if you want to do like easy mode, you can use it, I suppose. But I always do it with the three punches. Um, a good habit to get into is actually to double tap. And so what Daigo does is when he does the ultra, he actually taps the three punches twice in case. So you don't um, accidentally, you know, throw out a super instead. But basically that's how you do the ultra. Same principle as the super. You roll the joystick twice and then you go three punches and and if you want to be, make sure, you would double tap. So, I usually don't double tap, but double tapping is a really good habit to get to get into because it will guarantee that your fireball hits. So, okay, so now that I've got supers and ultras covered, I'm going to go into FADCs real quick. So, FADC is basically the application of combining um, a really, like, so, so basically you do your uppercut and then you cancel it with your FADC and that's your focus attack. Um, the timing for this is actually pretty open for Ryu because you can, you know, there's maybe like a one or two second uh, interval where you can do the ultra right after the uppercut. But if you want to be safe, leave it for like maybe a m like half a second. So what you do is you do your uppercut, you cancel, and you would tap forward twice in order to get your dash cancel and then you would do your ult your ultra right away. So it looks something like this. Uh, let me get it here. And I am screwing it up. <laughs> there we go. So um for me, I don't know why I find it easier on the right side, but, you know, it's just a matter of practice. I don't use Ryu all that much, so I don't have to, like, I don't usually have to worry about the FADC, but it's a really good thing to know, because a lot of characters will actually have a ultra that's, um, that's, uh, FADC cancelable. See, so I can do it on the right side really easily, but on the left is sometimes a bit of a challenge. So... I would have done it right there. <laughs> but, um, so you kind of get the idea. I think I missed. Yeah, I missed. It's a little slow. But it all comes with practice. Um, that's, that's the main basics of Ryu. And so now I'll get into some of the charge characters.